Getting to the root of soaring food inflation includes a close look at what it takes to produce what we eat. It's becoming more and more difficult for us to have large labor forces that are willing to stand in a 30 degree field and pull weeds out of the ground. Robotics is just a necessary next step. Nearly three quarters of agribusinesses in Canada are short staffed. Nexus Robotics founder Tarek Greenan, who's developing a self driving weed pulling robot, says machines are the solution. If we want to have food that's reasonably priced, we need these farms to continue to have great yields and we need these jobs to be done. Robots are involved in every part of the food supply chain, starting with agriculture, for harvesting and monitoring crops. Livestock farmers are using robotics to feed, milk, manage, and clean animals. During processing, raw food is cleaned, sorted, cooked or baked, packaged and transported. And robotics and automation are already well integrated into the warehousing stage. Loblaw recently launched its fleet of semi-autonomous delivery trucks. No human in the driver's seat, though there is a safety pilot on standby on the passenger's side. This is a partnership with Silicon Valley company Gaddock, whose goal is to move to a remote driver model. So we have today five trucks operating back and forth on these routes, uh, typically operating 12 hours daily, seven days a week, uh, operating these trucks in an autonomous fashion. The companies touted a clean safety record after two years, logging more than 150,000 deliveries. These temperature-controlled trucks are already being used by Walmart in the U.S., but Loblaw is a Canadian first. Robotics expert William Mellick says pandemic supply chain challenges have accelerated the adoption of automation. Minimizing human handling of food is valued now more than ever, and so is reliability. So the robot is going to prepare the recipe with the same level of consistency every single time, 100 times. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.